Hi and welcome back to more parts of my Rome campaign on the uh, Rome tutorialism. Uh, where we left off to was where just looking at settlement and also I captured um, well, well captured another settlement and a new region of uh, from the Gauls. Which we're doing all right at the moment. We've got like uh, they've only got like three settlements left. I think they do. I'm not, uh, I'm not really sure, but it says on the map they've only got three left. Um, but um, usually the map doesn't actually automatically update itself. It, you just have to go buy it, go through their uh, like get a spy and go through their territories and then it would like update the map shame that it doesn't do it automatically it would kinda help if it did but oh well I'm not complaining I'm not complaining I thought it would show the map fully I, I swear that I put uh, the because I can't remember throughout my whole campaign that did I actually put the fog of war off if so, why isn't it showing every single area, which is a bit weird, but still, but anyway. Um, haven't gone through like Persia or anything, but, oh yeah, I, I was going to merge in those two navy fleets, but one's got a lot of navy ships in and the other one only had like a few, so I wanted like convert for ships, but obviously I had an army already in there <laughs> I, did, I couldn't remember that I had oops that's quite bad of me oh dear um, now I'm just gonna prepare for a long battle against the Greeks even though I'm still at war with them technically speaking but I want to start conquering um, the uh, east side of Rome rather than just taking on for west and for north territories or I rather want I want to like spam my empire a lot further out and and it's a shame because I swear it's only well one thing I don't like about Rome is the fact where you can cut your own territory but you can't see everything there's still for fo uh, fog of war and I hate that I really hate it because you, you still can't see anything in your region. I mean, it's oh, just my head. That's why you have to put up those um, watchtowers. And I, I like the watchtowers because uh, you can see for enemy coming, and then I could comp uh, comp like uh, prepare myself um, against their army if they're going to attack. Then at least I could uh, be prepared. Um, and I thought that the uh, Numidians will actually attack me next, but um, but they haven't actually attacked me for. Well, they haven't even attacked me for this whole part anyway. And yes, I've already recorded this before. Um, this isn't like a live commentary, so uh, I've already explained that on my previous parts anyway. So, uh, if you didn't know that and you're like new to the campaign or so, and if you're new to the campaign, you would know that I've been cheating and stuff, you know, with the uh, buildings and for money and for fog cheat, which someone asked me to do anyway, so I did that. Even though I turned the fog of war off because for, for AI, face it, for AI, always spawns those like real small unit armies there's only like the general or like just a, a few units and they, they just like go all over the place they don't do anything they just like walk around and shit basically <laughs> so I just can't be bothered with that so I that's why I took it off and plus with, when when you like end your turn it like takes what like what 10 or probably a little bit longer than 
Well, I wouldn't say 10 minutes it takes, I would roughly say 6 minutes long to actually like sit there and wait for a freaking turn. One turn. One turn. You know, I'm actually finding it a lot difficult to actually, um, you know, manage my settlements because there's like loads of them and I, I find it a lot bit more hard to um, manage all of them. Even though, yes, I know I could actually set the, you know, change the, well, basically just change it to audio. Not audio. Yeah, yeah, or no, wait, oh fuck, <laughs> oh god, oh well, anyway, um, basically I don't have to do anything, it's like automatically does everything for you, looks after settlement for you, looks after for taxes, etc, etc, but I, I don't really like that, I rather like do it by uh, manually, because if there's like a building, I don't want them to like build military stuff. And I know for a fact that you should start building like uh, your ports, uh, upgrade your farms and uh, roads to like have a better economy. Also, don't have too many troops because of the upkeep. Even though I roughly only have like six units. Even, yes, I know that the generals do take a lot of money and upkeep. And for more units you have, or for more expensive units you have, for more for upkeep. Also for uh, ships as well. So that's kind of, that's kind of why I need a bigger uh, empire. So my em empire is like a more balanced. Because the army that it has got isn't really super suitable for that big of an empire, so it needs to like expand a little bit more. And then I should have a better income, and well, instead of minuses, I should have like pluses. Anyway, let's get these uh, invasion of Greece has begun. I'm gonna get these two armies. Just checking how many units are in there. I think I could take that. Well, I, well obviously, I think I could take it. Because this one has the biggest army in. Check again. Get this bugger. This army, attack them. And yes, it's for old type of army. I did actually upgrade it to the new ones. But I always do that. I always like get the uh, real old ones as soon as I get the new troops I like start to send the old crappy troops around I mean like for Hastati and for Prince Pays and for Terrari and all them lot to go out and fight rather than for the proper legionary co uh, cohort well they're not really called cohorts but just called legionaries and plus I did download the uh, mountain, what, um, a Gadius, mountain Gadius I think it's called, mod, for uh, mountain, uh, oh god I was going to say mountain musket then, but that's a mod, um, sorry, I, I meant uh, mountain blade warband. I've got that, uh, I haven't actually played for a uh, single player though. Um, I've only played like custom battles on it, that's it, that's all I've been doing, I haven't played m yes, multiplayer, I haven't played for campaign, to be honest, I don't actually like for campaign, from what I see, I don't really like, because you have to like, well, I think you have to read everything, uh, it's, it looks really like um, Fallout and stuff. Well, so, so I bet you someone's going to have a go at me saying, Oh, it's not, it's not like that. Well, yeah, maybe it is, I don't know. Do I care? No, not really. For multiplayer, the only time that I played multiplayer on is Mountain Musket, only because I'm in for 91st Regiment of foot, so... Um, that that's with uh, 
point man and tav and who else um, oh who else is in it fuck uh, uh, Lionheart that's it sorry it's just it's really early in the morning it's like 8 o'clock in the morning and I'm like recording this so it's like freaking early and uh, not with it I haven't even I'm gonna drink some coffee actually so yeah yeah I love my coffee. And P.S. It's good for you as well. If you didn't know that, well, well, no, I think it not too much of coffee is good for you, but technically it's good for for blood. Well, that that's what I've heard anyway. But still, anyway, I'm I'm ranting on. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I just purchased a uh, watchtower. Even though the ghouls aren't there, that it's just a fucking uh, rebel region. So I could conquer that, and I will conquer it anyway. I'm, I'm gonna like carry on with the campaign and like start to conquer everything. I, I think I've mentioned this, but um, for next, I, I know I've said I mentioned about. Um, getting a new computer and that's my plan for like 800 pounds I'm gonna like save and uh, well I haven't even got half of it yet <laughs> but uh, more like a quarter but um, but yes I'm planning on getting a new computer which is which would be a proper gaming PC um, what do these peeps want oh well nothing <laughs> I hate that, I, I don't like it when it does that because it's like they feel like they're talking to you but the next minute it's like hello, are they like sending me something? I don't know, it's just, just, like trying to talk and yet they don't do anything what the fuck? Ugh. you know after um, this has changed the subject already after um just getting defeated by my navy by the Gre uh, Greeks. Um, I, I, thought, I thought that um, my second army is destroyed, but thankfully it's not. It's not destroyed. I didn't lose any men. Phew. And I'm gonna attack Sparta. Oh yes. Take the Spartans. Kill them. Kill them all. Sorry. Even though they're real tough motherfuckers, but um, <laughs> but uh, yes. So hopefully get a new PC, and hopefully frabs will be a lot quicker instead of freaking lag all the time. Um, I I'm actually not sure whether I'm allied to. Uh, oh god, it is it the billions? Oh fuck, I can't remember what the name is, but. They're for blue ones right next to mine. You see for red on the map and for uh, for one right next to me. For red ones. Uh, I mean for blue ones, sorry. I mean. Just... I think they're my ally. I'm not sure actually. I can't remember. See, they've got two units of Spartans and. Oh uh, god, I couldn't see that shit. I only know that they've got two Spartans and. I think it's one Slingers. Didn't see. Fuck. Oh well. Let I get over it. Let's siege these motherfuckers. You see, I, I was actually gonna take on uh, Athens, but um, well, no. <laughs> I rather take uh, Sparta. And technically, that Spartans never had war. If you just knew what I just said, they didn't have walls back then. They, I thought they, I thought they, it was against their fighting style, the Spartans. But anyway, this is just a freaking game. So I shouldn't really say anything put these behind, I don't want my general to get shot at. Um, it's a shame that I haven't got any cavalry. Would be nice to have cavalry. 
Yeah, I want to attack that one. This one could attack for gateway, and this one could attack the uh, other tower. See, if I destroy those two towers, then uh, well, for better, really, because uh, I don't get shot at by the enemy towers or like lose more men. Get my best in this fight. Even though this is going to take forever to actually... Uh, excuse me. Freaking tired. Let me be nice to knock them out. Um, I always do this. I always knock out the towers first and then the gateway. And then uh, if I've got any left, I just put them automatically uh, fire at will. I'm not sure whether I fast forward, I, I can't remember actually. <gasps> oh, typical, typical. Oh yeah, there you go, fast forward. As soon as they, those two pistons finish off those two towers, I'm gonna set them both against the uh, main gateway. And you see there's fire in the background. Oh yes, yeah, Spartan is getting a lot of beating now. <gasps> oh ho! <laughs> yes, fast forward because I just. Ugh, it's going to take forever to actually just destroy the gate, uh, gateway. Come on, just knock out that freaking gate, dude. It's a shame because it doesn't actually tell you how much damage you've got. And I do select all of them because, uh, well, they've still got like true, um, uh, missile, well, ammunition, uh, not ammunition. Uh, they've still got um, some uh, more arrows and uh, whatever. And so I thought, might as well just waste them all. Might as well kill a few of their. Um, Stingers and whoever else is up there because I couldn't remember. Who else. Yes. I didn't tell you to fire all the way that way, I was you. Never mind. Um, but yes, I'm going to set most of my troops um, for. for uh, I think it was six units. Yeah, six units off of ones in front are going to go in first and then followed by the general. Because I still don't want him to get like shot at or fight, get into a fight. Cause I don't really want to lose my general because he's too important. Well, it's not really a general; it's just a, a captain, really. Less, less, less precious. Less. Get them moving. I like them move it, move it. I like them move it, move. It. I like the move it. Sorry. <laughs> and no, I haven't watched that, uh, that cartoon thing. Got Manamaska, was it? God, I can't remember. Damn it. Yes, I've been singing that in my head for a while. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. <laughs> But yeah, um, plan is, um, once I get a new computer, um, the graphics card is going to be a lot bigger than the one that I have got, so it should be uh, a lot faster. Um, it's going to be 3.4 gigahertz, which is quite fast. I mean, this one's only got like two core processor and it's only 2.88 or 80 gigahertz um, and that's like um, the other one with a 3.40 gigahertz it has got like four CPUs in so it's like um, 
basically four brains really well. That's what I always been taught that for CPU is roughly for brain or for computer. Like a pattern whatever. Um I don't wanna go into like proper details and shit. Can't be honest. I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered now. It's too early in the morning to think of this stuff. I've got a boom medicine. Oh by the way, I get fucking like a lot of people, a um, lot of my uh, troops die on this. It's because I'm not really attacking the uh, these enemies up the wall, so I'm gonna get attacked quite a lot, and they're already down on their numbers. It's, it's, I thought the Spartans would be up here, but guess not. But you will wait until when when you would see they got slaughtered. They get slaughtered for Spartans. Not yet, not yet, because I'm not right next to town centre yet. Yeah. Just kill these off. Um, set for other troops. Um, go take them up to the uh, main town centre. Take them on. But anyway, yes, uh, for graphics card, uh, I've, well, for graphics card, what it came, would come with, which, well, I mean, what it would have came with, would be, um, pretty shit, so I actually, um, because you're allowed to select what kind of, uh, graphics card you want, and other things with it, um, and I've kind of selected, like, a, a better, better one, really. It's kind of like the second Our latest graphics well card at the moment. Um, GX, no, no, not G, fuck. I mean, uh, I think it's GeForce GTX, I think it's 580. I really can't. I, I would have to look like look at the um, website to like look at it. I just can't remember. It's been a while since I've looked at it. Um, if anyone's like interested in me doing, uh, well, I, I know a few people are interested in me doing more of this campaign. I, I know most of you didn't like the fact that I cheated and I do apologise but I did say for anyone who wants me to use a cheat I'd be gladly to use it I mean someone asked me to do uh, a cheat for um what was it to take on oh, fuck I forgot now shit um for fuck of war off that's it fuck of war off and I did it but I only like I didn't like use it all day, well I didn't use it all the time because it was like slowing down for process of a whole campaign anyway so and plus because Frabs lags on this so it's like oh, fuck's sake so uh, I, I kind of want to like get this campaign really sorted pretty quickly but even though I'm getting a new computer soon, so uh, it should be a lot faster and uh, two, I wouldn't really play on this campaign anymore because it wouldn't have saved for the previous one and it would be a different computer. So therefore, it'd be a new campaign, which someone have already asked me to do the Greece campaign and I, I'm thinking of doing it anyway. So the next campaign will be Greece. Oh dear. I might go back to do uh, Rome again. So it'd be my, like my second time doing it. Oh shit, I really need to stop for uh, my recording because my battery's dying. Yes, yes. And by the way, I don't actually. Um, I don't wear a mic to do my recordings for my audio, 
I actually do it from a webcam, uh, not a webcam, um, my camera recorder, and for batteries almost dead. Fifth, uh, 20 more minutes, it'd be dead. Yes, sorry, I'm just taking a plug. The plug? You got a problem with me taking the plug out? Hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah, I thought so. The funny thing is, oh yeah, I, I paused it just by accident. I didn't mean to pause it. I put because it was like lagging so much, you can't help it by um, pausing it. And so uh, yeah. I know it's not the graphics card. I know it's frabs because when I take it off, when I when I'm not recording it goes really quick. The game wise, it doesn't lag one bit. It's very fast. I mean, you just have to move slightly and it goes all over the place. <laughs> but yeah. But it's still going alright. See, I don't want to attack them with like a single massive blob. I want them all like spread out so that they, they could throw their peeler at the enemy. So then, at least then I've got some kills. Get these. Um, do, 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 put them down here. I don't want them to set it off, but they will because I've just done that. Which I did that first because I don't want them to like come after me. If they do, then it's not really much of a problem. Spartan. Oh, there they are, uh, they're attacking. Throw my peeler at them. But they're still gonna charge at me because both units are coming now. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Get a few kills. Oh god, he got fucked. Get these guys in. Outflank on. I've got from them to outflank. And they're just attacking one single freaking unit. What a dumbass. Well, technically he had no chance anyway, but he could have, like, not used his general in the same fight. And it's so easy for, for Romans to actually outflank him and outremove, uh, well, outmaneuver, oh, fuck, god damn it. So, yeah, but anyway, flank him on both sides and attack him from Korea. Pretty cool, huh? That's how we deal with the Spartans. This is Sparta. Well, not anymore because I'm just about to conquer it, motherfucker. This is Rome's territory now. <laughs> I do fast forward this battle because, well, let's face it, it's going to take a while. Because these are Spartans. They're getting like surrounded on all sides. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Oh, a capturing for town. Pushing them back. Got roughly like ten more minutes 
to my freaking camera. Shit. Yes, this is where I fast forward it because the battle would like take forever. I don't really want to spend all my time wasting against this trip. Now, can they beat the time limit or would I kill them all up? Right? Down to 30 seconds. Oh, well, the there's Jimmy. Yay, victory! I think that was before I forgot right now. Yeah, victory! Victory! Good victory! Oh, yes. Well, we captured Sparta. Victory! Hmm. Fuck it, let's kill them all. <laughs> But that that's gonna make um, Macedon pretty angry. That I'm conquering for Greeks. Well, I might as well fight this one. God, loading screen. Pretty nice loading screen. Over there stands the Greek army. You know, I couldn't select them and like put them where I want them to be for some strange reason. I don't know why. It's like, look, see, I'm trying to like select them and it won't fucking move. Dickhead. Move him, motherfucker. You there, you there. It's roughly like the same freaking area from like the Spartans, really. Get the siege up, uh, siege tower, I mean. Hold on guys, let me just like pause it. I'm gonna stop it. Uh, well, actually I should read it. I'm just gonna like uh, put battery in my uh, camera. Well, got battery in my camera now. Well, I'm charging it basically. So, I won't lose any battery time. Oh great, my coffee's cold, bollocks. <laughs> oh, bollocks, bollocks! If my friend was here, he would say, Stop swearing, Chris! Stop swearing! Yeah, I, I didn't mean to select my cavalry. <laughs> yes, usually I do pause it. So that um, all of them go at the same time, that, that's that's what I always do. While that's happening, I select these two units and put them over here. So that um, I reinforce the... Um, the... Uh, uh, the ladder. Wow, well, for, for battle. Because when, when you're on the ladders, they're a lot quicker. And usually with the um, bat uh, battle uh, uh, battery ramp rams... Sorry, I'm getting my words mixed mix up today. For sake. Um, they they usually like get burned out or like d get so damaged and like before they even get to the gate. So I have to send most of my troops as soon as that it goes on fire and fuck. There you go. It's already damaged. And I have to retreat retreat those units or they this will actually. Get completely freaking owned to death. I'll uh, put them there because they're not getting fired at. Siege towers are best. I mean, you don't get fired at. You don't. Your troops are still like intact. If you could hear that, that's my phone. Um, that was my chair. <laughs> Oh, 
but yeah. Got my men on four walls now. So this unit's fighting for other unit isn't on the other side. So and these are like uh, uh, for Trari. So Trari won't really do that well when sieging because they've got spears and they roughly act as a um, uh, like like uh, for Greeks and stuff because they have spears and spears. Let's face it, it's pretty shit to have them on sieges because you haven't got for room um, and. Um, Yes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like reinforce them with this unit that just came up because I'm getting my ass whooped on this side because they're for Trari and and they usually fight as in like um for Phalax formation just like the Greeks. I'm gonna send my other cohorts for Prince Pays in. Hastati are coming up. They're gonna capture for other uh, the uh, other uh, tower, the uh, for wall towers, because that would shoot me at back if I don't take it. And I need to take the uh, gateway as well, so all the rest of my uh, remaining army could go through the gates and uh, attack. You know, someone said, um, is this a good mod? And to be honest, yes, it is a good mod. Um, obviously, I would say that because, uh, you know, I, if you know what I'm like, I usually like everything. But no, no, really, really, it's a, it's a good mod. Um, it could be a lot better, but... Um, have captured the wall. I mean, it's now just like I, I don't know whether with place. mods you could actually change your graphics and stuff, or or you're only allowed to change certain stuff, like pictures and and that lot. I, I don't know whether you could change anything else. I know that you could change for units, but that's that's all I know about mods. I wish I could create my own mod, but uh, well, I'm not that experienced and I don't have a clue what to fucking do anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna send these units for gates because it's like I don't want to send too much troops on on for war. And I don't really think it'd be necessary to actually put them all on because they're like basically all surrounded now, so it'd be a lot easier to like kill them. Well, there's only like what two more units that haven't surrendered and they're still fighting. Let's see some suicidal uh, people like falling. No, no, oh, no, maybe not. Get these guys to attack them from Faria so that I captured the uh, the uh, gateway and then my other troops can uh, well, go in and uh, start attacking. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure whether I do show this, but uh, after this, um, uh, Macedon attacks me. As soon as I conquered this, Macedon attacked me. So now, uh, basically, I'm at war with Macedon as well as with Greeks. And um, with Carthage, they we made a ceasefire. So I'm not at war with uh, Carthage anymore. Even though they wanted to have the territories back from what I conquered in that region, but I said no, they could go to hell. I'm not fucking giving them all of back and then have to reconquer it all over again. Fuck them. Well, 
Oh, the enemy troops have already, like, blocked off the gate. Wow, they've got a unit right down there, so... I'm gonna use these infantry guys to attack. And plus I would go through these, uh, this unit really quickly. They're, they're not that good, they're like, uh, like town watch um, units. You know from the main Rome to the War uh, game where you have town, if you're playing Romans you just have those town, um, town watch. It's like that really. They're, they're pretty shit at fighting, well, I wouldn't really say they're shit, but well, they're, okay, they are, but... <laughs> but at least there's something can, they, they cost less and a little bit better for your upkeep anyway, so... They don't, they're not expensive to have. Cheap. Cheap shit. Yes, cheap units. I can't believe that Macedon attacked me. So technically I'm at war with Macedon and for Gauls wanted to have a ceasefire but I said no because I wanted to conquer another territory from them so that they only had like two territories left. And then I could like kill them off. So I conquered the really whole of uh, France, um, and then I'll probably go through Spain, conquer Spain, conquer Greece as well, so bigger empire, and then I'll probably conquer the rest of Africa. Well, one, one quarter, quarter uh, one um, half of it really, because the other half would have the uh, Egypt would have so. I have to be really careful. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle it's beyond belief. So I'm gonna get all my guys and uh, get them all over here. But I want them to walk because I don't want them to get like tired out and stuff. Get my troops out or down from the walls. Get my uh... yeah. I'm gonna speed them out up because they're gonna take forever just to come out for a freaking wall. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to get attacked. Yep, there you go. I got attacked by this one unit, which is going to retreat because there's like sis, uh, for, uh, the size of that uh, army that I've got. He just broke through straight away, in a way. Mostly all his starting uh, units. Now I'm selecting all of them again and I'm going to push them all the way over here. Get these troops. Um, I put I put them over here so... But the problem is if I do that all those towers are going to fire at me. Get the, uh, my cav. Want my uh, Greek crab, well, Italian cav, which came first in. Uh, well, they look like uh, Greek cavalry, but they're Italian. Oh, wow, they got completely owned. I'll put them all over here. Cavalry are getting shot at because of fucking towers. Get my cavalry out of there because it's just getting like killed. Getting owned. Wow, that's quite a lot of dead people. Shit. Well, I sustained quite a lot of casualties on this one. Holy shit. 
Well, this is quite a bad idea to actually do this. And yeah, I need this army because I'm going to get attacked by... Um, well, besieged by... Uh, oh, um, Macedon. Damn it. Well, let, let's just see if I did, because uh, I can't remember how long I recorded this for, so I, I just want to let you guys know that I'm at war with what happened afterwards. Well, I haven't set them off yet, so that's good. There you go, that would set them off. There you go, they're all coming now. Which was my plan, so that I could throw, throw my appeal at them. Get some casualties. Oh shit, that's quite a lot. Oh god. Oh my god, oh. Ah, oh, they didn't send any armor. Oh, shit. Well, I could like outflank them now. Stupid idiot. Get my cavalry as well. Oh god, the uh, enemy general just got totally fucked. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. See, I want my infantry to go in first. Come on, come on. Yes, my horse is stuck. But yes, um, I'm at war with them, and I've already mentioned it anyway. Um, and part three, well, uh, part twenty-three, I mean, will come soon. Um, I did like uh, record a little bit extra. Uh, I mean, no, I didn't record any extra. Sorry, I meant, I meant for the <laughs> oh. I, I meant to say I did go through the campaign a little bit on my own without recording and well well you you will see what what the problem was in part uh, 23 I'm not going to say anything else other than this is going to be a real short campaign this is a heroic oh our victory anyway More loading screen, I quite like that loading screen. Nice, nice. Victory! Hmm. Yeah, let's just kill them all. What do they need? Let's build a sewer just to get more public health up and running. What do they need? Uh, go for repairs first. Prepare for war, get retrained these troops. Oh, yeah, I do get besieged on both territories actually. I get sieged on uh, Sparta as well, as, but I didn't record it. But uh, anyway guys, this is nearly the end anyway, so uh, just a little sea battle there, victory, woohoo. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this uh, part 23, I mean part 22, and I'll see you later guys. So, see ya. Hi and welcome back to more parts of my Rome campaign on the uh, Rome Tutorialism uh, where we left off to was where just looking at the settlement and also I captured um, well, well captured another settlement and a new region of uh, from the Gauls which we're doing alright at the moment we've got like uh, They've only got like three settlements left, I think they do, 
I'm not, uh, I'm not really sure, but it says on the map they've only got three left. Um, but um, usually the map doesn't actually automatically update itself. It, you just have to go buy it, go through their uh, like get a spy and go through their territories, and then it would like update the map. Shame that it doesn't do it automatically. It would kind of help if it did, but oh well. I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining. I thought it would show the map fully. I, I swear that I put uh, the... Because I can't remember throughout my whole campaign that did I actually put the Fog of War off. If so, why isn't it showing every single area? Which is a bit weird, but still. But anyway. Um, haven't gone through like Persia or anything. But, oh yeah, I, I was going to merge in those two navy fleets, but one's got a lot of navy ships in, and the other one only had, like, a few, so I wanted, like, convert for ships, but obviously I had an army already in there. <laughs> I, did, I couldn't remember that I had. Oops, that's quite bad of me. Oh dear. Um, now, I'm just going to prepare for a long battle against the Greeks even though I'm still at war with them technically speaking but I want to start conquering um, the uh, east side of Rome rather than just taking on the west and the north territories I rather want to, I want to like spam my empire a lot further out and and it's a shame because I swear it's only, well, one thing I don't like about Rome is the fact where you can cut your own territory but you can't see everything, there's still for fo uh, fog of war, and I hate that, I really hate it because you, you still can't see anything in your region, I mean, it's pain or so, and if you're new to the campaign you would know that I've been cheating and stuff, you know, with the uh, buildings and for money. And for fog cheat, which someone asked me to do anyway, so I did that. Even though I turned the fog of war off, because for for AI, face it, for AI, always spawns those like real small unit armies. There's only like the general or like just a, a few units, and they they just like go all over the place. They don't do anything. They just like walk around and shit basically <laughs> so I just can't be bothered with that so I that's why I took it off and plus with, when, when you like end your turn it like takes what like what 10 or plus oh does my head in. that's why you have to put up those um watchtowers no, I, I like the watchtowers because uh, you could see the enemy coming, and then I could comp uh, comp like uh, prepare myself um, against their army. If they're going to attack, then at least I could uh, be prepared. Um, and I thought that the uh, Numidians will actually attack me next, but um, but they haven't actually attacked me for, well they haven't even attacked me for this whole part anyway. And yes, I've already recorded this before, um, this isn't like a live commentary, so uh, I've already explained that on my previous parts anyway. So uh, if you didn't know that and you're like new to the campaign,